Hello, my name is Mr. Cack, and I am part of Rage You Nerds, and this is called a Moment of Rage. Moment of rage. rage. It's where I just take a few minutes and I rage about something. In these moments, the rage could be good, bad, or indifferent, but it is a rage, so I guess it's going to be one extreme or the other. Today's rage is a positive rage. It's a rage about a game. A game that you may have heard about, a game that you may know, and a game that you might not have watched. So I'm here to rage about Squid Game. Squid Game is the latest fad on Netflix. So if you have not heard of Squid Game or the fact that it's called Squid Game and is in Korean, maybe all of that's off-putting. Maybe there's something there that doesn't click for you. Maybe you just think to yourself, well, that's not true crime, so why am I going to get involved? I understand entirely. But if you are someone that's looking for something interesting, something a little bit different than what you're used to watching, or if you're someone that likes anime or manga, which is Japanese comics, oh, I'm a cultured nerd, right? If you like that stuff, or if you specifically like the survival game kind of genre, so Hunger Games, Saw to an extent, even though that gets a little bit muddled, Squid Game is something that you might find interesting. Listen, if you're just a fan of trying to guess a whodunit type of thing, Squid Game, forget the title, we'll provide some of that for you. So with Squid Game, you take our protagonist, if you want to call him that, um, who is currently in debt a lot. And so that's kind of the big thing here, uh, is that a certain number of contestants, 456 to be exact, uh, were gathered all across Korea to participate in the squid game how the recruitment goes is you kind of see from the protagonist point of view uh, where he is kind of walked in on someone who happens to understand and know a lot about him which means that ultimately there is a recruitment going on behind the scenes uh, in terms of targeting people that meet a certain criteria and realistically that criteria is they are in an extreme amount of debt uh, so these individuals in high debt are they're given a lot of options, right? But you're taking desperate people that will cling or fight or do anything to get out of a bad situation, and you're giving them a promise. So it is manipulation. Uh, but if you're not hooked after the first game, which is just red light, green light, uh, <laughs> with a little bit of a twist, then turn off, don't watch the rest of it. Um, but for those of you that are interested, it's like nine episodes can be described as just children's games. Uh, so yes, some of these games may look familiar to you because uh, something like red light, green light is very universal um, in terms of an understanding of like red light, you stop, green light, you go, uh, and you're trying not to get caught and eliminated. Some of the other games as they progress through it, so it's six games, six levels, so through some of it, uh, there will be games introduced that maybe aren't familiar to you from a Western or American standpoint. As an American, just the title game itself, Squid Game, while pieces of it may have been used in games that I am familiar with, the Squid Game itself, not anything I actually had any kind of connection to. Now, if you're Korean and this was a game that you played in your childhood, maybe it hits. Maybe this is just a fictitious game where it's um, only designed for this and they have to explain the rules to all of us anyways. Either way, doesn't matter. A lot of the other games you will have some kind of understanding for because, again, they're children's games. And I think that's probably one of the things that I like the most about this. Is unlike Saw where there's, you know, a mystery element to figuring out the game. With this, it's pretty straightforward. You're doing something very simplistic. The true mystery lies in everything else outside of the games. Why were these people selected? Who are the different masked individuals why do the masked individuals have three different indications why is there a single masked individual that's dressed entirely different why is this you know like all of these mysteries start to pop up who are the vips why is this island where does the money come from is it a legitimate game in terms of you're being promised this prize pool do you actually get it so I'm not going to spoil anything for you uh, because this is my impassioned plea for you. If you haven't taken the time to go watch Squid Game and you have access to Netflix, whether that's either your own personal access or maybe you have access another way, you should go and watch Squid Game. Uh, for me, one of the biggest draws for this was the fact that I do like anime. I do read manga. Uh, so there was this 
eerie feeling while watching this and kind of seeing the premise play out where I thought, hey, wait a minute, like that Leonardo DiCaprio thing. I'm like, I, I know that, I've seen that. Uh, it looked a lot like Liar Game for me, so um, that's kind of not a mainstream shonen one, uh, so it's not like Naruto or One Piece, or uh, it's not things like that where people are more aware of those things, um, but Liar Game is essentially very fundamentally similar to a lot that plays out, and when I learned that the creator of Squid Game actually, during a time where they were trying to find steady work, binged a lot of the uh, manga for Liar Game and Battle Royale, which essentially Battle Royale is the precursor uh, to what American audiences will come to know as Hunger Games, if you really want to be honest about it, Western culture. Um, but these two manga that kind of focus in on game settings, a manipulative, shadowy organization, uh, and, and kind of manipulation of something that's projected as a fair thing but really isn't and liar game also ties in the debt and the money uh, so there's a lot of elements from things that i'm aware of where just watching this was like this feels familiar without me not knowing anything about it uh, and that's fun but again if you have no preconceived notions other than the fact that you were putting away from watching this because it's the current fad and everyone wants to move away from what everyone else is loving because you're so you're so counterculture look at you look at you um or the fact that it's called squid game and that's a really weird name and it doesn't connect to you or the fact that you're worried that oh my gosh it's not going to be in english i don't want to sit through subtitles listen netflix does a great job of handling these products they have an english dubbed version uh, but yeah i think you should go watch squid game Go rage, you nerds. This has been Mr. Cack, and this has been my moment of rage. Squid Game. Go watch it. Red light, green light.